Installation for devices started about three weeks ago, and now more than 2,000 tablets are ready to go, and students can't stop raving about their new learning tool. Do you want to hear it? What was your reaction, boys and girls, when you got yours? Exciting! 2,300 tablets are now ready for classroom use, giving students a whole new perspective on learning. It's fun to look forward to because because um, you get to play on a tablet and plus school is actually fun. Fun that is completely controlled and monitored by the teacher. I can see what each child is doing and what they're working on. This one right here is working on RAS kids. Allowing instructors the ability to customize lessons for each student's needs. If I see she's having trouble with something, I may change what she's doing and push a program that will help her. Within the last six months, the school board has been training teachers to utilize this technology in every subject. However, even with the new technology, it will not be replacing textbooks or teachers in the classroom. Because books make me smarter and this does too. We'll still be using pencil and paper um, because that's in the real world also. Relax. Each device costs about $500, totaling $1.4 million. The school board plans to pay this back with the help of grant funding. Are you going to take care of this? Yes, ma'am. Why? They spend a lot of money to get it for all of us. A new generation of tools geared toward enhancing student success. A lot of times it's hard to get around to each child, and this is almost like having another teacher in the classroom. Next year, Jackson County 4th through 8th graders get their devices, followed by high schoolers in 2016.